As always, I'm going to be giving you the best Bitcoin technical analysis. I'll be going through the updated Bitcoin charts, the predictions bias that I have, and how I can see Bitcoin playing out over the next few weeks to come. I truly believe I can help you a lot with the technical analysis. And what I would like to place a special emphasis on in this video is the number one reason why people continue to lose trades. And that might come as a bit of a surprise, but that is you watching this video. That is also the biggest reason why many people are losing their trades. <laughs> so to speak, right, it's all our own battles. It's what goes on in our heads. It's those emotions that creep into our brains. It's not that we cannot do the technical analysis. We do not understand the theories and can absolutely understand these trades. But at the moment of actually taking the trades, we are the biggest reasons of loss, right? It comes down to getting scared at the lows. It comes getting too bullish up at the highs, not being able to update biases, not being able to close down positions at invalidation, okay? Scared to compound and seeing numbers rise. You know, I know a big problem for many people is they can manage to trade with $50, you know, but when it starts to trading $50,000, it's a whole different ball game for them, even though it's the exact same process. So I know that through experience, right? I've had these same struggles as you. Trust me, I, <laughs> I've had those sleepless nights. I've had that depression feeling of losing trades, you know, that sick to your stomach of how can I be so stupid? I've gone through all that, that I can absolutely promise you. And the good thing is, right, I've been in this over a decade. I've went through those tough times and I've come out through it strong. Uh, you know, successful with what I do. And now I really want to give back. I want to help you through those tough times because I truly know from my heart how, how bad they can be. Okay, so my mission of this video is going to be to touch on the subject and aid you with that, while of course focusing as well too on the technical analysis perspective, okay, and the future trades. So bringing it back to the chart together, okay, one thing that's very important, which I have been really trying to emphasize <laughs> over the past like year or so, is that I'm much more of a swing trader now. And I know that does upset some people. It does upset some people. They want, they want me to be sculpt trading. But, okay, I can give you some reasons behind this, right? So it all comes down to... Um, trading the charts okay i think you know you've heard me say that many times and you know i've seen some comments which i would like to address or for example oh daniel you're just uh you know you're just long and waiting for higher you're basically just a holder now and i want to first of all explain the difference between holder and what i class myself as a swing trader yes i am looking for higher you know i've said many times i am long and chill okay i'm in no short trades at all I am in all my long trades and I am looking for a new all-time high on Bitcoin. But that is from an absolute trader's perspective. I'm open to taking shorts. I'm open for analyzing where I could be wrong too, okay? And for me, that is something, you know, you're not going to see a holder looking for the next short trade, okay? Looking for the next hedged position, you know? And that really stems my bias of long and chill from higher is all based off a of technical analysis, right? So back from October, uh, that's when I went absolutely full crazy on the bull market, right? Why? Because for me, it was simple. Keep it long, nothing to change. And that was as soon as we reclaimed that value area low. So as soon as we got back above the value area low, okay, that for me was target overall is the value area high. And of course we sliced through value area high like butter, which aided me in remaining long and chill for new all time highs. Now we're up and around new all time highs. I still remain with this bullish bias, but I wanna emphasize this is truly based off of the technical analysis. It's not based off of the fundamentals. It's not based off of the halving. It's not based off of, you know, DCA. Let's just hold on to this forever. OK, I recognize that can be a strategy for some, but that is not my strategy. I am in the markets on a daily basis. I'm still analyzing the market every single day, all day long. I'm in front of the charts and my perspective on Bitcoin is I'm just looking for those very high probability trades. And yeah, as I said, you know, I know some people want me down on the one minute chart taking some scopes, but I personally feel that I'm at very profitable right now, just focusing on the higher term time frame swing trades. OK, and so that's what I want to talk about now. Okay, so 
where do I get this long and chill, bullish bias, you know, really simple, clear and consistent plans, okay, waiting for higher targets? Was the same back in October, November, December, January, February, March, here in April, it is the same for me. And that is, I am looking for a new all-time high. I've, and you can see here, I got circled here, a very important support which currently sits at the range point of control. So this is our range point of control. This is our anchored VWAP from the start of the range. And just below, we have a daily naked point of control. Of course, we can see the tap here of support that we had for this bounce to the upside, never a random pivot, bounced off the top of the CC. And at the time, it was a daily and daily naked point of control. Lovely route, bounce reaction to the upside. And we're currently, just as we bounced from Fibonacci low to high, into the CC. We are then in this zone right now of the exact same Fibonacci from high to low. Clearly, we're unable currently to break through the CC rejections across the board here. Okay, so I can understand fully why we bounced here, where we rejected here. Of course, you all know I am much more bullishly biased rather than looking for the short, even though I absolutely know we can get pullbacks, just as when we got the pullback here from the value area high on the weekly naked point of control. Okay, of course, I'm very much aware of the fake out of the triangle into a pullback. You know, this was a scenario I was telling people about. Okay, I personally did not take this short trade. Why? Because instead of looking for the short here to here, I'm more interested in the long from here to here. Why? Because I'm trading with the overall higher term time frame market trend. And a lot of people love to laugh at me, for example, when I don't take a short trade and price retraces. Oh my God, Daniel, you missed a trade. La, 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 la. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm unfocused on these kindergarten games. I'm, I'm after uh, my own trading plan. I'm out here making mad profits, right? I've made nine figures trading. That is not a small amount of money. And that's because I'm very good at sticking to my plans. You know, there is a lot of people talking, a lot of people trying to distract, but I am fully focused on making my profits. That's all I care about. I'm in this market to win. I'm not in this market to have fun or have games. I'm, I'm in this to win. Okay, that's period. <laughs> I want to win on every single thing I do. So I'm not going to get distracted and, you know, bring it into shorts because of what people are saying. I'm going to continue to trade my plan. And my plan right now is the new all-time high on Bitcoin. So although, yes, I am missing some short trades, look at the overall trend. I've been bullish from down here all the way up here, 160% to the upside. I am still with the same plan, simple and long. And that is from the technical analysis, right? So the next pullback area that we have in support, actually, we have more of a smaller term time frame type of Gartley pattern, right? So we have from Fibonacci low to high to low, which is the CC to high, which is the CC come down for the 786. This gives us a bit of a Gartley pattern, right? We've all seen these before, nothing new. And it's just another opportunity to long the dip. Again, does this have to work? No. And I have my invalidations. I know where if I get a dip down here, I take a long trade. I could lose that trade. Okay. I could still be wrong on my overall bullish bias. Okay. I'm prepared for that. Again, I am a trader. I am not a holder. I'm not hoping for the best. I am recognizing right now the highest probability is a new all-time high. Because look at the trend, look at the support that we have, the, we the, the weakness of the resistance above us. These are not strong levels, okay? CC, no confluence. We have the naked point of control tapped on the value area high, tapped, weak daily. You know, the, the, the probabilities are all-time highs, whether you, whether you like that or not. Uh, that, that, for me, is, is a fact, OK, I understand that the fact that the highest probability at the moment is higher can change. Probabilities are always updating. And that is why I'm here all day, every day, analyzing these charts and trying to recognize where could I be wrong? When I enter a trade, I'm more thinking, where am I going to be wrong on this than where am I right? OK, and that's just the mindset that I like to be in. As I said, the biggest factor that people lose their trades is themselves. You know, how many of you entered at the same time as me long trades from much lower down in the charts? And now how many of you have closed them? How many of you decided to short this uptrend and have just been shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting and shorting? How many of you have listened to the wrong influencers that have been way too bearish during this rise? 
I see it today. I see it last week. I see it last month. I saw it at the start of the year. People were laughing at me for being so bullish. Every time I missed a short trade, I'd have comments on YouTube and Twitter, right? But again, I am not focusing on anybody else. I'm focusing on my setups, my plans, and my trades. And who has the last laugh every single time? Well, currently it's being me because my longs are making me more and more and more profits. And that's what I'm after. I'm after the profits and I'm after winning. I'm here to win. <laughs> I've told you that. And that will always be the case. While I'm alive, I want to be the best trader in the world, period. That is my goal. That's what I live for. That's what I want to be, the best trader in the world. And for that, I need to show up every day. I can't let my emotions get the better of me. I can't let little kids talking about me on Twitter get anything in my brain. No, I focus on what I love. That is the charts. That's the technical analysis. That's who I am. That's what I do. It's what I live for. <laughs> that's what I absolutely, truly love. Okay. And that's what I want to get you towards. It's what I want you. I want you to have so much passion and love for the charts as I do. And honestly, yes, of course, winning <laughs> helps this a lot. OK, when you are a winner, when you are making mad amount of profits, profits that you can't even comprehend, they're so big. Well, you naturally fall in love with what you do. <laughs> Let me tell you that. But I will say it was not an easy process. Right. I went through the struggles. I went through the pain. I had full like depression. I've had sleepless nights. I've, I've felt sick to my stomach through some of the bad decisions I've made during my lifetime, and especially to do with trading. Right. So it's not easy but it is possible. And so bringing that back to the charts, it all comes down to, I've said it so many times, having a plan. We need to be fully planned out and prepared for what's to come. I am very much aware of my next area of support, which I feel is a long dip opportunity. Again, I am prepared to not short these areas because I feel the highest probability is a new all-time high. You know, these are the type of things I'm sharing in my group every single day. And I will tell you this, while I am focused on the higher term timeframes, I absolutely am, to be honest with you, you do have to remember that you have other coaches within Chart Champions, Eagle, Severin, Rivalry. They are very much focused on the lower term timeframes, right? Trading the charts, coming in here, making profits every day, you know, with you know pretty crazy PL curves, right? So it all comes down to really simply, if you want to have the lower term time frame analysis, have a look at Eagle's channels, have a look at Rivalry's channels, right? They are coming in here and doing the same on the absolute lower term time frames, trading the charts. You can see for yourself the amount of profits that can be made by having those types of strategies, right? So, yeah, whatever you're looking at, higher term time frame with myself, lower term time frame with the other coaches, we do have you covered and we can give you a trading style that you know, is, is there for everyone. If you want to trade the one minute charts, hey, take a look at Rivalry. If you want to be trading futures, altcoins, well, Severin's your guy. If you want to be focused on like the day trades in and outs, just making the profits, then Eagle's your guy, right? If you want to be focused on the swing trading, I am now more of a swing trader. So every single time frame we do have covered. So I just want to remind you that as always, for me, that's important. We do have everything covered within the group. And I actually am going to be focusing much more on altcoins. So I do realize that while Bitcoin, I'm just long and chill right now because of the technical analysis, I am going to be doing my best to find the best altcoin setups for us. She 2.0 is coming, right? So I'm going to go full on into altcoins. That's going to be my next game. So while I can have these updates, yeah, I'm still long and chill. The technical analysis, I have my long the dips. You know, I might go a one or two days taking no trades on Bitcoin. So while that's the case, I'm going full on into alts. This week, I've already shared three altcoin longs that I've taken with the champion members. And I'm going to be going, you know, basically full in into this. And I just want to find the best altcoin setups. OK, I enjoy it. I know the members are going <laughs> to are going to love it. And so that's going to be fun. And so yeah, well, Bitcoin is a little bit stale, so to speak, on the swing trades. Yeah, I'm going to go full on into those altcoins and find the next best trade setups. So, yeah, for me, that is what my bias is. I am expecting new all-time highs. I have no shorts. I am, you could say, long and chill, right? Uh, of course, I'm not a holder because I know I have the short opportunity lined up with a fake out of that all-time high. If we get that, hey, I'm locking in a short trade, <laughs> but I'm not going to be taking one prior to this. Okay, I will be waiting for that all-time high. Well, we can wait for that swing failure pattern or 
something like a failed auction. If you don't know what a failed auction is, it's where you move above these highs, you take out the highs, trade a bit above, and then you come back down below. And that is a bearish failed auction. Okay, you can look for a much bigger reversal off of that. So whether it's a swing fail pattern or failed auction, I have got my alert set here for the all time high. And I will be looking to trade that. Of course, if we get continuation, I'll remain long and chill. But that's where I'm looking for my next short. If I am wrong, okay, I will try and recognize that early. Okay, because I do not have to be right. You know, I'm very open and transparent with this. I will admit when I'm wrong. Okay, for me, missing a 5% pullback is not making me wrong. I'm wrong if we absolutely miss the all time highs. OK, and we start to break down with big signs of weakness in the reversal, then I am absolutely wrong. And I will absolutely admit that to you. I have no fear of that. OK, for now, I believe the highest probability is higher. I'm happy to see the dips. Why? Because I'm happy to long those dips for new all time highs. I hope I've made that clear. I truly do this because I want to help. You know, I'm not here to, to do anything. I want to help you. And I know that I can. I know through the experiences, the knowledge and the insights that I have gained over the years, I, I, I know I can help you. So, um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you know, you can always leave a comment down below. I will read every single one. Hit that like button. OK, and if you want to see more from me and the rest of the champions team, <laughs> then you can absolutely get that via chartchampions.com. We got the new Asian session Bitcoin updates. So for all you Asian traders, all people in, you know, uh, America, you know, people in over in Australia, you got the whole starting at like 2 a.m. UK time session updates now as well. The daily morning updates every single day, the dedicated altcoin streams, we simply have everything that you need to become a profitable trader. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy. If you want to see more, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye.